Okay, so what I'm going to do here is let's talk a little bit about the, the phases of matter, right? There's um, solids, right? This is a picture of a, a crystalline solid, for example. Um, notice it's a very orderly arrangement of the atoms. These dotted lines represent some sort of chemical bond. Um, if we actually, if we break crystalline solids, they tend to break along these lines of, of uh, atoms like that or molecules. Um, there's also non-crystalline solids. So I, I think like glass is actually... Um, not a crystal, actually. It's it, it can actually flow a little bit um, over time, and and uh, then there is um, there's liquids, right? Liquids are very much like the solid that they once were. Uh, it's just that these bonds have been broken. They're moving so fast that the bonds no longer are, um, can be sustained, and so they they slide across each other like this. But they always stay very close to each other. Um, it's a bit like greased marbles. Um, Liquid water has almost the same density as solid water, okay? Um, so these are very, very similar. It's just that this is now a fluid, okay? It's a liquid. Um, gases are very, very different. Remember, these guys are flying at super high speeds, hundreds of meters per second, right? Uh, you saw that little kinetic model here. This is all very random motion like that, right? Um, this, if, if liquid water has a density of about 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, um, gaseous water probably is somewhere around a kilogram per cubic meter, right? So it's a huge change of density. These latent heats of uh, uh, vaporization tend to be huge compared to latent heats of fusion just because this is a subtle change. This is a huge change, okay? Um, so you could sort of think of ping pong balls or something like that flying around as a gas. Um, and then a plasma, of course, is, is uh, the coolest one of all. Um, that's like a uh, gas gone crazy, right? The 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 collision energy the, um, exceeds the binding energy of the electrons, and so every collision frees up the electrons. So basically, you have nuclei flying around in a soup with electrons, right? It's still you know still there's the electrons are are close to the nucleus, but they're not in those little orbitals, et cetera, et cetera. They're just helter skelter, right? Um, the cool thing about plasmas is they conduct electricity. Um, so, uh, if you look at the sun, right, you, it's kind of, uh, we can't like see inside the sun. The sun is actually opaque. The, um, the plasma of the sun photons that are created in the core of the sun take something like 10,000 years to get to sort of migrate their way out randomly, um, to the, to the outside of the sun where they can, they can, uh, be radiated into space. Um, the, the sun is deeply, deeply magnetic because of all its conductivity and, and uh, it's not well understood. But anyway, um, yeah, um, I think that's all we should say about the phases of matter. Um, changing from one phase to the other is a phase change, and it requires the input of potential energy.